I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making raspberry cream filled chocolates. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. A few years ago I accompanied Mrs. Randy Makes Candy on a business trip to Atlanta, Georgia. Since I had to occupy myself during the day, I looked around the area for something to do and found a candy store that I wanted to visit. When I got there I saw something I'd never seen or even heard of. They had these filled candies with just beautiful patterns on the top. I asked the manager how it was done and she told me that they used acetate transfer sheets with designs printed in cocoa butter. As I'm sure you've guessed by now, one of the first things I did when I got home was order a box of those transfer sheets along with a special mold, and tonight I'm going to show you how to use them to make absolute top tier candy. Before I show them to you though, I want to make it clear that this is totally extra. You don't need either of these to make a delightful cream filled chocolate. I've got a whole playlist of filled treats that you can check out. Just make the cream filling that I'm going to show you in a bit and use it instead of the filling described in any of those episodes, and you'll have something that'll put a smile on the face of any candy lover. The idea tonight is to show you that with a little time and effort, and money, even home-based novice candy makers like us can make professional looking chocolates. These are transfer sheets. There are a ton of different colors and patterns available. I bought a variety pack from Amazon for about 40 bucks, which sounds like a lot, but it comes with 50 sheets, with five sheets each of 10 different patterns. I bought that box four years ago and I haven't even used half of the sheets, so they go a long way. A single sheet goes for 10 to 15 bucks if you want to start small. While you can use the transfer sheets without a mold, I prefer using a mold like this. I think it just gives a more elegant result. The mold itself doesn't look all that different from other polycarbonate molds, but there are two notable differences. The first is this, <laughs> which you would think is very inefficient as far as holding chocolate, but the second is all of these magnets which hold this steel plate on the bottom. This allows you to put your transfer sheet on the mold where it's held in place by the steel sheet and magnets. It's made by a company called Fat daddy -O. love that name. I got it on Amazon for about 30 bucks. Now that we've met our lovely assistants, let's get to the good stuff. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own cream filled chocolates, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. Okay, let's make this happen. For this recipe, you'll need 11 ounces of chocolate or melting wafers. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate because I think it goes well with raspberry, but use whatever you'd like. One half cup of raspberries, fresh or frozen. One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of water. Two tablespoons of heavy cream. And three and a half ounces of white baking chips. Along with the mold and transfer sheets, you'll also need a small saucepan, a spoon or spatula, a sieve, or a sieve if you prefer, and a couple of bowls. Okay, let's make some candy. Put one or more transfer sheets into the mold, making sure the cocoa butter pattern is facing down. Then add the metal sheet. Melt the wafers or temper the chocolate. Pour the chocolate into the mold. Tidy up the mold with a scraper or spatula. Tap the mold to release any air bubbles inside. Then turn the mold upside down and drain the chocolate leaving just enough to cover the sides of the mold. Quick aside here, 
Professional chocolatiers have vibrating tables to release air bubbles from the chocolate, but they cost way more than I can afford, so I made my own with stuff I had around the house. It's just a massager attached to a piece of plywood. As simple as it is though, it works pretty well, and you can't beat the price. Place the raspberries, sugar, and water into a small saucepan and bring it to a boil. After about two minutes, remove it from the heat, strain out the seeds, and set it aside. Put the heavy cream in a small saucepan and bring it to a boil. Pour it over the baking chips and stir until the chips are melted. If necessary, you can put this mixture back in the saucepan and heat it for just a few seconds. Add the raspberry puree, mix it thoroughly, and let it cool to room temperature. Once the chocolate is set and the filling is cool, use a spoon or a piping bag to add the filling to the chocolate shells. Be sure to keep the filling below the top of the mold. That lighter color you see in the chocolate is bloom. I think it might be because I had the air conditioning on and the chocolate cooled too quickly. Hopefully we won't see that on the outside of the candies. That's the thing about working with real chocolate. Even if you do everything right, outside factors like temperature and humidity can still work against you. If you want to play it safe, use melting wafers. But understand that you'll be sacrificing flavor and texture. As for me... Danger's my middle name. Remelt the chocolate you drained from the mold and cover the filling, going all the way to the top of each mold cavity. Tidy up your mold. Let the chocolate set, then remove the metal sheet and transfer sheet. And remove the candies from the mold. And that's it. Okay, let's give this a try. Slanchiva. Okay, that tastes every bit as good as it looks. The bittersweet crackle and crunch of well-tempered chocolate, the tart, creamy sweetness of the raspberry filling, that, along with the absolutely elegant appearance, makes these worthy of the finest restaurant in town. I'll admit that this is a big jump up from the simpler treats we've made in the past, but if you're ready to take your candy making to the next level, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the Candy Kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. But it comes with 50 sheets, with five sheets each of different pa 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 The mold itself doesn't look all that different from other polycarbonate mold. <laughs>